up y'all browns and movement back at you with another video and today's video is so special and it's so different because today's video is the episode one of browns and movements podcast episode yay Ooh, thank you thank you thank you oh stop stop oh keep going yay <laughs> so what's up y'all i hope y'all are having a great holiday so love all of y'all thank y'all for um you know tuning into this uh, this first podcast episode on my youtube channel so make sure if you haven't already like share comment and subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell button so you know when i'm posting a video yes and so i'm trying to be better about posting more things and and i've been posting a lot more of the short videos uh, to you know get y'all amped up and get y'all knowing that I'm still here and so I don't know if y'all have seen past videos but some of my other videos I have done and I told you uh, told y'all in the past is I've told y'all that you know I have a love for a lot of things so I'm not just all about fitness and yoga and hiking I also love art and cars because my actual degree my bachelor of science degree is industrial design of product design and i have been a big huge fan of art and sketching and design since i was a little kid and i ta taught myself how to draw and i just got better throughout the years you know i've taken lots of art courses and and in majoring and studying in and product design and so which is awesome and my entire dream was to be a car designer. And since I'm not actually being a car designer right now, it's which is all good. I'm, you know, living through my art, my artiste lifestyle by promoting my own first ever limited edition Browns and Movement apparel. Yes, if you notice this shirt and these three nature inspired designs are my, is my first apparel line. Yes, it's the first. So right here, you have the sky blue, grassy green, and you've got forest green. So I chose these first three colors to launch my, uh, my Browns and Apparel uh, shirts in these colors because they are inspired by nature. And I'm a big part, nature is a part of all of us, not just myself, but it's all of us. And a lot of my workouts and inspiration is through nature. So that's why I wanted to be different because I love being different and I love changing the game on different things and doing what I love and bringing it to y'all into the world. So that's why I chose these first three colors, but make sure you cop them quick because you know, when they're going quick, because as soon as these models are gone, it's going to change. You know, I'm planning to expand the line to different models, to different styles, and I'm going to have all kinds of artwork on every single apparel because this artwork y'all see on here, that's my work. Yes, this is my drawing. So I've worked hard on it. It's been two years in the making and I got it packed down last year. And then this year I got it to where I wanted it. And then bam, here it is. And it's got something on the back too. Bam. Yeah. So, all right. So if you want to cop one of these limited edition Browns and Movement apparel shirts, make sure to comment down below, uh, or you can email me at brownsandmovement at gmail.com, or you can message me on one of my Instagram channels, which is the one Browns and Movement on Instagram or Browns and dot apparel on Instagram. So I have two Instagram channels. So make sure to contact me on one of these platforms and I will mail you a limited edition shirt and the shirts do cost $20 and it's $20 well spent because from the reviews out of the 50 shirts that I've already sold so far I have gotten nothing but great reviews and people are already telling me they can't wait till I release more colors more styles and everything so get ready y'all because this is going to be a movement revolution yes so Let's get into today's video, the topic of today's video. So, as you've seen from the thumbnail, what we're talking about, and uh, I wanted to expand my channel to talk about cars as well, because I have a love for design and cars. So, today's topic on this first episode of Browns in Movement Podcast Talk, yes, um, we're talking about the 2023 Kia Sportage. And if you haven't seen the reveal of it, you know, definitely check it out. 
I had been a fan of Kia for a long time and I knew back in the mid 2000s that Kia was going to be great and people just had to stick with them and I'm all for sticking it and hanging it in there with the underdogs and Kia and Hyundai have really progressed entirely so give them credit and I, I knew I was right my predictions were right so I do actually own a 2011 red Kia Sportage beautiful vehicle it's I've had I still have it I still drive it it's 10 years old and it's uh, I'm, I love it actually it's 11 years old because I bought it in 2010 so and I love the vehicle nothing but great things about it and I'm not planning to give it up because it's paid off and I love it and it's still a beautiful vehicle so but I am a fan of this 2023 Kia Sportage and the, they revealed the 2023 Kia Sportage in October I think it was the 27th of October I believe so they revealed it then but I wanted to uh, make this video for so long so I waited the full month to actually get my thoughts together what I thought about it because I am a, a designer and I'm I have a background in design and for me I love it because it's futuristic and it's modern at the same time it's take us you know we're on a whirlwind of a revolution of electrification in this industry of cars and we're moving car industries are moving towards that and cars are getting more futuristic styling and if you look at cars 10 years ago 20 years ago cars the design was there but not where it is now design of vehicles have taken a tremendous leap forward some have taken leaps behind but a lot have taken leaps forward and kia and hyundai and Hyundai uh, and genesis are proof of how somebody can go from uh, you know you know basic designs to being one of the top leaders in design and Kia is doing that and I love how Kia is take, pushing the envelope you know opening that envelope and it letting butterflies come out and make it into something different because the Kia Sportage in nameplate maps all the way down to the early 90s and this the 2023 Kia Sportage is the fifth generation of this vehicle yes and 20 the two the 2011 Kia Sportage actually began the Sportage's revolution up into a new level of design and that's the one I own of course and so and then when they redesigned it in 2016 they took it to an even another level more premium level and then now they've got this 2023 model which is which is the fifth generation is they've really taken it to the next level because one thing I do love that Kia does with the Sportage is they make it stand out they don't make it blend in it stands out and regardless of what people think it's gonna stand out because I feel like even from the first generation in the early 90s, the body on frame uh, Sportage, it stood out. The second generation stood out. The third generation stood out. The fourth generation stood out. And now this fifth generation is standing out even more. And one thing that Kia did that I'm so glad they did. I'm so, 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 so glad. There were actually, there's many things they did. I have always wanted the Kia Sportage to, make, to be the biggest SUV, CUV in the class. And what did they do? Kia Sportage is now in the top of the compact SUV class. It's the biggest SUV in the class. The length has grown seven inches long and the wheelbase is now 108 and or 109 depending on if you round it off. But it's so awesome and the the rear legroom has increased. The front legroom has increased. They increased the entire body. Now the platform that it, the 2023 Kia Sportage is on is the NQ platform which is the NQ5 meaning fifth generation and the NQ platform the Sportage also shares its platform with the Sorento and the Kia K5 and the Sorento is a mid-size it's a smaller mid-size vehicle but it is a mid-size so now the Sportage shares its platform but the Sportage is just a few inches shorter than the Sorento that's why the Sorento has a, a third row and the Sportage doesn't but the Sportage is now the biggest compact SUV CUV in the class which is good props 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 because the Kia Sportage in the competition class it competes with the Hyundai uh, Tucson, the Honda CRV, the Mazda CX-5, the uh, Toyota RAV4, the Jeep um, Cherokee, um, what is in the class? The Nissan Rogue, the Mitsubishi Outlander, and I think the list goes on but I think that's 
pretty much it. Oh, and the Volkswagen Tiguan. So it has a lot of competition, but the Sportage just got its own and it will stand out. It's got an awesome design. I love the boomerang headlights it's got in the grill. I love how they've incorporated the grill. They've revolutionized the, the Tiger Nose grill of the front and they've really made it its own. And so now the Sportage has its own design, which it always has, but it, it actually blends in with the family of Kia, but it has its full design. And the next thing that actually I'm so happy about is what I've always wanted Kia to do is get the Sportage back to what the first generation was in the in the early 90s. The first generation was a body on frame SUV and you could take it off road. And you and now and they've gone to a crossover uh, architecture uh, CV, but you know, and it did have all wheel drive, but it wasn't like an off road focused vehicle. But now Kia has done the first ever in you know, introduce the X Pro model, which is the picture in the thumbnail. The X Pro model is actually has uh, BF Get Rich all terrain tires on it. It's got the 17 inch uh, rims on it, which has got a meaty, meaty off-road tire. So it's gonna be so awesome to see how that performs. And it's got a 8.3 or 8.5 ground clearance, which uh, from the, it's up from the base mount, from the regular Sportage. And it's a off-road, focused appearance and so it'll be awesome to see what it does off-road when it when the it does get released in the first quarter of uh, 2022 and to see it off-road and because this is what I want Kia to do with the Sportage and another thing so what I want Kia to do since okay Hyundai there's Hyundai, Kia and there's Genesis you've got Genesis which is their luxury sport brand to compete with all the luxury brands then you've got Hyundai which is the mainstream um, sporty brand and kind of luxury but you got Kia which was always focused on the sporty so I think with the new X Pro model that the Sportage has and they've got the Sorento X line but now they have the X line is going to be an appearance package but in the, the X Pro is actually a brand new line for the off-road focused so you know so we'll see what it does but since they have that on the Sportage I want Kia to turn into the Jeep of for the Hyundai motor brand, you know, to be the off-road focused vehicles to take on Jeep. And I want them to do that as the future goes on. Even when we, even that Kia is moving to electric in their vehicles, I want them to be so hard on in the off-road. And I hope this X-Pro model is the first addition to bring to the Kia brand to actually put them in more of a line of off-road vehicle. And I really want Kia to do that because I think Kia would be so great in it. And them, uh, and just making sure that you know they get the right architectures for it, the right platforms and making sure they get you know the skid plates and make sure it's focused because you know one thing that you know with this revolution that people if people are going to buy SUV CUVs they want a more rugged you know SUV and so and I will say f the Ford Bronco Sport is proof of that you can take a crossover unibody platform and make it off-road focused and also you can say the same thing for a Jeep because the Grand Cherokee, the um, the Cherokee, the the Compass, and the Renegade are all crossover vehicles, or actually, well, they are crossover vehicles, but they're unibody platforms, and they can you can take them off road. So them and the Ford Bronco are very much proof that you can take a unibody platform and make it off road focused. And so, and I want Kia to be that one brand in the Hyundai Motor brand to be the off-road focus brand to take Kia to the next level because they are their own company. They're still under the Hyundai Motor brand, but now they are Kia America. So they've changed things. And so I'm going to be, I'm so excited to see what Kia is going to have in store for us in the future. I know they've got a ton of electric vehicles coming out and I know they're the more rugged brand of design wise and sport of the three, but it's going to be so awesome to see what they do and i feel like they've read my mind of making the kia sportage bigger and putting an off-road focus package on the on the vehicle so i feel like they, they're reading my mind and they're listening to me so i love that so let's stay tuned for what Kia is going to bring y'all so thank you for tuning in to my first episode of my podcast on youtube focusing on um art design fitness yoga hiking and all so make sure to tune in for episode two I um, I don't know exactly when I will be posting you know each episode but always make sure to share like comment and uh, subscribe and click the notification bell button so you know when I'm posting a video because this round table which is not really a round table but what this is my setup for right now but
stay tuned because I will be bringing something new each video, no matter what it is, art, cars, fitness, hiking, whatever. So make sure to also message me and comment at the bottom of this video about my shirts because they're good, y'all. So thank you for watching. Peace, love, namaste. Make sure to stay awesome, gnarly, and wild. Yes. Thank you so much, y'all, for tuning in. Stay tuned for more. Peace, love, and happiness. Peace. Boo-doo. Boo-doo. Boo, 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 boo,